And here we are at the Ocean Monument Farm. So we are going to take, uh, I forget which hermit it was. Anyway, I was watching the videos. And so we're going to do the dispenser with the gates uh, Ocean Monument. So here's uh, step one. So first step, find the Ocean Monument, which my base is actually just right over there. So it's kind of convenient. Uh, kill the Elder Guardians inside so that you can mine. And now we are putting up a glass border all the way around. And then we're going to clear out the whole Ocean Monument down to the ground floor and fill in... Uh, we're going to use Prismarine. Yeah, we'll probably use Prismarine, I guess, for the floor. Maybe we'll do a design or something. We'll see with the new copper blocks and stuff. We'll see. Anyway, step one, find the ocean monument. Step two, all the glass. Step three, remove the monument and put a floor. So we're going to get that, and then uh, we'll come back. Okay, we are back, and we'll just get our head in here so we get the night vision. So as you can see, the ocean monument has been cleared out. We still left the conduit in there. So now we have three options. We can magma block the bottom and pull all of the guardians down and then put a hopper minecart underneath. We can soul sand, push them all up and then move them in increments of eight and raise the water level get them all out the bottom here or we can drain it and make oh, actually there's probably four ways there's a bunch of ways to make this farm it all depends on what you want but as you can see we're getting uh the guardians we're getting uh squids we're getting fish the dolphins, but they don't count. So we're getting pretty much everything spawning in here. So what we're going to do is we are going to put dispensers up here. We're going to drain all the water and put dispensers up here to put the water back in just for a short amount of time. And then it's going to suck all the water back out, leaving them on the ground. So we will put uh, signs. I think we'll put some signs on the bottom to stop the water. Either signs or fence gates, one or the other. We'll see which one works better. Uh, and then below that, we'll do a step down of water into a kill chamber down below. All right, so I will get that all drained and the kill chamber and that set up. And then we'll come back and we'll show you that stuff. I got a third of my water going. <laughs> it's been a while since she died, eh? Man, I just had a fucking vision on that. All right, so we now have all the water removed. And if you count, as you see up there, I was doing some testing. Um, it's 57 by 57. So that is a total calculator here. I know it's in the 3000s. So 57 times 57 is 3,249. So we need to make fence gates cover the entire bottom. Now I'm going to do that step now because as you can see I'm going to do a water flow here and drop it down and drop it down until we get to the middle. So instead of me trying to reach up and do the fence gates 
Um, we are going to do that right now. So I'm going to scoot over and probably set up an auto crafter system that can do two and three item recipes for bulk production. I'm going to go over to the village and set that up. And then I will bring you back for a little short clip of that. And we are going to make all these fence gates. All right, we will be right back. Okay, here we are over at the camp where we do all our little machineries and stuff. Mm. So we're going to put these down here because we are definitely going to need a lot of storage. There we go. Okay, so we got a autocrafter with three inputs. And the recipe for fence gate is two blocks in the middle. So I think if we go here and we put that there, let down. And then we need sticks on this side and sticks on this side. So let's only oh, 60 here. So let's just put 30 here and 30 here. And we have sticks all flooding in. So if we get the amount that we need and hook it up to these, we could just stand here, grab them, and put them into these chests for now. And then maybe I'll go craft a bunch of shulker boxes. And then I'll already have it in shulker boxes. Because we need 3,400 or 249 fence gates, which, as you can see from the recipe, is two blocks, so we'll need 6,498 blocks. Mm. Uh, and we get four of those per log. So it's only 1,625 logs, or roughly 25 mm. and a half stacks. So one shocker box of logs for the two centers, and now sticks. I was thinking we use bamboo because I have a bamboo automatic bamboo machine. Mm. So we're going to need, uh, we need four of them for the recipe. So that's 12,996. And it takes two bamboo to make one stick. So we'll need 25,992 mm. bamboo or roughly 40, no, 406 and a quarter stacks which is roughly 15 shocker boxes. Mm. So I'm going to go gather up all that material so we can have all these produced. And then mm. I'll be right back. All right. Now we've been farming all day i did do a modification to my bamboo farm so i can make double the amount of bamboo but it takes a lot more bone meal and we got eight almost eight like seven and a half ish uh chocolate boxes of sticks and we got a full chocolate of spruce logs now let's grab a redstone box here we only got one hopper. We need another hopper. Mm. Okay, there's a chest. Actually, we'll just make three. And we need some iron. Mm. Probably only need two. Need more than one. Okay, crafting table. Mm. Okay, so let's jump up here and put mm. up there. Oops. And I'll pop her here. Over here. Should do it. Now there we'll be able to put shulker boxes on top. So let's uh where's the half empty one? Three quarters. Let's do that one first. Okay, so what we want to do is set the recipe. So we already got like almost a full stack of each in here. So we're going to set more. Um, 
that's a good one. Oh, I got some dirt right here. I just want to step, so I don't get to keep jumping. Okay. Shocker box there. There. So those should start flooding in. So they're filling up the sides. And now we are going to. Strip some of these down. The planks. Oops. Crouched. Okay. And put these in. Get her all loaded. So I'm thinking if we fully load it, it should be able to keep up because every one that comes out, one gets replaced. And it should just keep going all the way through as long as we keep um, feeding it the materials that it needs, right? Okay, so as you can see, 64, 64, 64, and now this hopper is filling up. This hopper is filling up. Maybe right there and over there we have lots, and we got uh, chests there. But we are making fence gates, which stack in 64, so we should be able to just put it right back into this chest. All right, let's take out a few more. All right, now we turn it on. So right here, I just have an observer clock. So as soon as I hit this lever, it should start spitting them out one at a time. So if we take this shocker box, and then I won't even have to pick them up and put that right in front, it should grab them all. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All right. I am going to sit here and make... 700 and some, so a shocker box and a little bit of fence gates. And then I'm going to go place them over there. And once I get that done, we'll bring you back. Okay, we're back. And we got all of the fence gates in. Now we have to open them. And we are going to make a water stream from this layer to the center. And we'll see what kind of shape. It's probably going to be a rectangle when we get to the center, but we'll deal with that when we get there. So we're going to open up all of these like that. I think it's going to be easier if I go this way and do it. Okay, so I'm going to do this and get the water in here. As you can see, it's going to be a pain in the butt. For the ones that we miss, we'll go back and help check. Yeah, there we go. All right. So yeah, I'm going to do this, put the water in, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, we put in the fence gates and opened them all. We've dug out the water. This here is not here. This is just to block me from sliding down. Um, and to my surprise, they all started spawning in already. I thought it was level 41, which is the level up. So up here. But it must be higher than that or lower than that huh. anyways this will change my design a little tiny bit we're gonna have to uh i gotta figure out how i'm gonna get a kill chamber there because all the blocks go right to the middle so i think i'm gonna be using fence gates there to stop the water on a four block and hopefully everything will fall down into a trident killer and we'll get it down there, but it looks like we're getting slimes because there is a slime chunk here. Unless now that I have water, they may not spawn, but we're getting drowned. We are getting fish. We are getting the guardians. And I'm hoping that we'll get some squids, but maybe not. We'll see. Okay, so the next step 
because I am still going to test it, is we have to put dirt over the whole top layer. And so we can fill in our pattern with the dispensers. And I think I'm going to go with glass instead of the lights. I'm going to do the lights around the outside. But then through the center, I'm going to do glass just so I can see down when I'm standing up there. So I'm going to have to build a wall, I think, around here. So I can go in there and get that done. All right, so kill chamber and dispensers, and we should be looking pretty good. So I'll get that done, and then uh, I'll bring you in for the last little bit. All right, here we are over at the... Ocean Monument Farm, where we cleared it all out. We put in the fence gates. We added the water. And if you look right down below me here, I got four by four hole covered with some fence gates to stop the water from going down. And the uh, guardians just eventually, watch one here, you'll fall down in there. And I got some blue campfires because they do kill a little bit faster. Over some hoppers right into a chest. I was going to do the dispenser thing, but... I think where I started off the farm, right at their level that they spawn at, I think it was 41, were getting their spawns. So I just had to make the water go down. Now what I may do to get it a little better spawn rate is just raise the levels up. So that the inside ones also hit their spawn rates, or their spawn cubes. I've been looking, and most of the ones that are spawning start from the outside one. See, like that guy, they just came in. One, two, three of them. They seem to come from that layer there. So if we take these layers and just build them up one layer and then redo the water. So I did waste all my time making all these fence gates. It does look kind of cool, so we're going to keep it there for now. But this gives me a lot of room out here. To do some kind of farm that's not water-based so i was thinking maybe a tree farm maybe a bamboo farm hmm anyways leave it in the comments what farm you think i should pop in here into an ocean monument because i will be afk here to get those i am going to modify the hole right now it's only a four i think i'm going to go one more wide all the way around it just because they're a little bit like, see how they're congesting up. So if I make the hole a little bit bigger, they'll just fall in. So that's about the only thing I'm going to modify. So that is my Ocean Monument farm. And like I said, we're going to be putting some more farms in here. So uh, stick around, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, turn on notifications so you know when I post next. Uh, catch me over on Twitch at Old Man Dax. And uh, appreciate you. See you in the next one.